This right here is how you film a cinematic video using only a point and shoot camera. So get ready to take some notes and let's get started. What is up you guys? I'm currently at Man's Farm here in British Columbia doing some Halloween activities. And I thought for today's Tech Tuesday, I would show you guys how you can film a cinematic video using a point and shoot camera. All right, so the first thing you wanna do before you even start filming is put your camera in 60 frames per second. And this is gonna actually allow you in the editing to slow it down 50% and make it slow motion. I am using the Canon G7X, which I've had for years. And I honestly think it's the best point and shoot camera on the market. So the first thing you wanna do is get a bunch of different types of shots and camera angles. Some of the shots include close up shots, medium shots, wide shots, low down shots, and bird's eye view. A little filming trick to make your shot more dynamic is to put something in the foreground. This can be leaves, maybe a post, honestly anything, but it does make the shot better. Another little trick is you can actually zoom in your point and shoot camera a little bit to make it look more like a DSLR. All right, so you have all your shots, now what? On to the editing. Editing this video on desktop will be easier, but you can obviously edit on mobile as well. The editing program that I'm using is Final Cut Pro, but iMovie is very similar to this and it's free. So the first thing I'll do is I'll drag all the clips onto the timeline and I'll get rid of the sound because for this cinematic edit, I won't need it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut all my clips. To make the clips blend seamlessly together, I'll do two things. The first is when I'm filming, I'll actually do what is called a whip pan, which basically you're filming something and then you whip the camera away. And then that allows you to more seamlessly connect the clips in post. But even if you don't do that, there is another little trick which you can make the clips blend well together. So what I'll do is I'll actually do something called speed ramping, where basically you speed up one part of the clip. So for this particular one, I'm speeding it up right at the beginning. And then I'm also gonna speed up the end of the previous clip. So then those two clips are going fast into one another and it almost looks like it's one clip. The next little camera trick I do is something called keyframing, where I have the clip actually zoom in or zoom out to create camera movement. I would definitely recommend watching a tutorial on how to do keyframing because it does take just a tiny bit of practice to figure out. So as you guys know, I use Epidemic for all my music. So I'm just dragging that into my timeline there. And then I once again go through and actually edit it to the music. So I often try and get it so that the beat drops or there's a swish noise where it's transitioning. I definitely think that makes the video a lot more visually interesting. Lastly, I'll add some color grading and then you have this. You think you know 